Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this space, my name is Monet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys, today is going to be a review on this gorgeous bust down middle part 34 inches unit, you guys, from Ash Mary Hair, y'all. I'm super excited. You guys know how I feel about some good long hair. If you guys are interested, y'all want the details on this hair, let's go ahead and get into this review. First off, thank you so much for watching today's video, and let's go ahead and get into this unboxing of this unit. Um, so I went ahead and pulled it out. It's a little messy because I had already looked at it prior, but I wasn't able to show like the complete length due to the frame. It just was not letting me. But this unit does come um, with three combs in total, two on each side, as well as one in the back. As you can see, the hairline is pre-plucked, which is great for beginners or if you just do not like taking the time to pluck a unit. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the other goodies. They sent over some 3D eyelashes. They also sent over some press on nails. Not really sure why they're Halloween, but yeah. Um, then we got a cute brush. This is going to be to lay those baby hairs. Um, also got a wig cap, a band to melt your lace. And then also they sent over a razor, which is going to help cut the lace. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna start right in by clipping my hair back. I like to take where I think my baby hairs um, or where my edges should go. Um, and I like to take those pieces out just so that way I can visually see because sometimes I have to work on it a little bit more um, just to make sure it's shaped to my head. So if you are new to wigs, I definitely recommend take your time with this step. I am gonna go ahead and quickly go through the application process, but I am using this hairspray from Bedhead. I will link it down below for you guys. This is the only spray that I use for my hair. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do not wear my wigs for longevity. It's more so for day-to-day -day use. Um, I think the longest that I wore my wig was probably like two days, um, but the spray still works and does what it needs to do. All right, so today, you know, we were just doing something a little bit different. So I was like, you know what? We are gonna pull out a little bit more baby hairs than what I normally would wear, which I'm just like, mm. <laughs> cause I do like my baby hairs quite natural. So we are trying this trend. Y'all let me know, are you guys for baby hairs or do you like your hairline to be a lot more natural looking with very, very light sparse hairs? I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly cut this, use my little mini curling arm, get those curls popping so I can see how short it is. Now, one thing I will say that I've started doing, I leave my baby hairs a lot longer because I feel like if you start and you cut it short and that's not how you want it, then you've already messed up. But if you start with too much hair, you're always able to kind of style it and then trim from there. I'm getting this hair secured let's go ahead and get into the specs because i know that's why you guys are here you guys want to know more about this unit and like i said i did get a 34 inch unit um this is going to be a 13 by 6 lace frontal so 13 by 6 meaning you're going to have a lot more parting space than your traditional 13 by 4 which i love um the texture of it is a straight texture naturally so that's the reason why i was just like hey we are going to do a bone straight look tonight bust down middle part it was perfect. Um, the standard cap size is gonna be 22.5. So it fits my head, it's a little bit big, but that's the reason why, you know, you're gonna wanna take that extra time to shape your edges so that way it works for you. The unit did come pre-plucked as well, but you guys know that I always go in and I just pluck it more to my liking. I am taking my wax stick. I am going to go ahead and link that down below for you guys. This has been a wax stick that I just really swear by, mainly because it does not cause my hair to be overly oily. 
and it does what it's supposed to do you guys like it's the best wax stick i believe i actually started using this wax stick when i was in beauty school and that was like over a decade ago like it still stands the test of time so the trick to actually getting your hair like bone straight is working through like the hair so what i'm going to do is part some lines in it i'll just part in the hair um, and take my hot comb and my wax stick and kind of run it through that is going to be how you are going to achieve that sleek straight bone straight style that you're looking for So this is how the hair looks. I have not added my flat iron in it. This is just the hot comb and the wax stick. It definitely did the job. Next, I'm gonna go in, we're gonna straighten it. I'm using this Chi Iron Guard as my hairspray. I remember telling you guys like a few, I could not find my um, heat protecting spray that I normally use, but I finally found it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that. But this spray right here, it actually does the job by Chi. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. I think it was maybe like either $16 or $18 or something like that. Not bad um, for a hair styling product. Um, and it definitely does the job. So like you see the sheen, like I haven't added any oil or anything on the hair. Um, and the hair is giving really nice shine. To help with my flyaways, I'm gonna use a little bit of Freeze Ease. I always say freeze, it's Frizz Ease. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a little bit of that and I'm using this hairspray by Evan. I do not like this hairspray for like securing my wig, but I do love the hold for like curls or just whatever you're trying to hold on the hair. Like it does the job for that. I think the last time I actually used it to apply my wig, it just left like that plasticky look to my wig and I just didn't like it. So I love it for a good hairstyling um, spray though. So next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation. I'm gonna take that and place that in my part. This helps with making your wig look as natural as possible, especially since I did not pluck it. Then I'm also taking a little bit of foundation and just adding it to the hairline just to blend. All right, you guys, I'm just adding my finishing touches, just running that hot comb through it one more time. Y'all, this hair is so pretty. Like, I couldn't get to the back the way that I wanted to. I probably should have straightened the back of it while it was not on my head, but it's just very hard when I'm filming to do so. So I'm sure once the camera stop rolling, I will go back in um, and do it afterward, just going forward. But this is how the hair looks, you guys. This is the finished result. Flat ironing it. It was already really silky and nice. I really want to try curling this hair, so I'm going to see how it curls. But y'all, y'all saw that. It's definitely giving the body. It's giving the sheen. So I wanted to come and show you the finished results. Um, I am 5'4 and a half, 5'5", five five, and this is where the hair stops. So it goes a little bit past my butt, if you can see, which is bomb. Y'all know how I feel about some good old long hair, you guys. Um, so yeah, so that is where it stops on me. Like I said, I am 5'4", five 5'5". Five five. Um, I like to go with 5'5". Five five. Um, so... I did end up um, tinting the lace um, to the chocolate. I will put the tint down below, you guys. I always keep forgetting. It's like, I love a good amount of parting space. Number one, because I have a big head. This looks really good because it balances that out. Um, this is a transparent lace. So like I said, transparent lace is a little bit different than HD. Transparent still has like, it's gonna 
blend but it still has a color to me even though it's like to me it's almost white if that makes sense um so i still tinted my lace to make it blend and i add a little bit of foundation like on the edges overall you guys i really really like the unit it didn't take me too long to straighten this hair and you guys see like the hair is super soft i did have some shedding but i did cut some pieces on the hair as far as like the ear tags and things like that so that is to be expected um, I'm going to see how this hair holds up tonight because we are going to dinner. I will say I kind of want to go back over it again and I probably will when, when it's wash day for this unit to re-bleach the knot so that way I can get them a little bit more blonde. Like that's just my preference because it looks a lot more natural. Um, but I ended up bleaching the knot. I didn't pluck the part at all. I do like to switch up my part so I, I tend to stay away from that. Um, so I did just add a little bit of foundation just to give it a more natural look. But y'all let me know what you guys think. Are we feeling the 34 inch middle part bust down? I know I am. I will say I am. Like the hair is so soft. I love the quality. It's definitely giving, oh, she went to a salon and got her hair down. But baby, little do they know she did it herself. Okay? Y'all let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. Be sure, thumbs up this video. Share it. I really appreciate all the shares, all the likes, the comments. Like I really, really do. Thank you once again, Ash Mary, for sponsoring today's video. I will check you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Later.